This is a human embryo where some researchers say cures can be found for everything from Parkinson's to paralysis. But under the Bush administration, scientists could not use federal tax dollars to test that theory. On Monday, President Barack Obama will change that with the stroke of a pen. It's the end of an eight-year battle for Dr. Irving Weissman. It means that we're free now to study Parkinson's disease. We're free now to study Lou Gehrig's disease. Embryonic stem cells are the body's shapeshifter. Scientists believe they can become any cell in the body, like nerve cells to repair a damaged spinal cord, or pancreatic cells to produce enough insulin for diabetics. Under the Bush White House, that research had to be privately funded, which supporters say slowed it down. Carl Robb has had Parkinson's since he was 17. He's now 42. And he's hoping Monday's announcement will speed the research up. A chronic illness is a race against time. Uh, every, every day, uh, every day you, you, you die a little. We've been waiting eight years, and, and the eight years has been way too long. The controversy with embryonic stem cells? Harvesting them destroys the embryos. Opponents say that's the same as abortion. They also point out that there have been major strides using adult stem cells. Using embryos, old science, bad health care, it's the adult stem cells that actually help patients now. It's not clear whether scientists will be allowed to create new embryos or will be limited to using embryos already created in fertility clinics and no longer needed. The ROBs say either way, lifting the ban could help the chronically ill live longer and better lives. You know, don't we owe them something to, to provide them whatever resources we can to help with either therapies or a cure for their diseases? I think we owe them that. This is a chance for, this is, this is going to allow our, the best and the brightest to do the, to do the work that needs to be done that hasn't been done for so long. You won't hear discoveries announced overnight. Even after the president signs this, new guidelines have to be drawn up by the National Institutes of Health. That means it could be up to a year before we see any of this new federally funded research kicking in. Jeff? Okay, Kimberly Dozier in Washington tonight. Kimberly, thank you.